Hey guys, welcome to another video. So here we have a uh, a unit here. Here's a part number here. And basically these are not supposed to be serviced. So once it stops working and um, I'll go ahead and plug it in here into the outlet. So it's plugged in now. The surge is not, you know, triggered. The mode the power button so nothing's working right let's go ahead and break it apart and unplug it first and we'll see if we can fix it and let's see if it'll just come open that was pretty easy so look at that guys this is what they consider not serviceable because they have four screws as opposed to your typical, you know, slide out. So we'll go ahead and uh, pull this battery off and just check the voltage here. And that would be why you're at two volts. So I don't have that size, but just for testing purposes, we'll go ahead and throw one of these guys and just make sure it's good. Yep, this is good enough. Now you do want to be careful not to touch any of this circuitry because this is a DC to AC inverter. So this will have quite a bit of shock if you touch, I guess, a certain portion of it. But just for testing purposes, you know, we'll just rig it up. And let's see if it'll power up. Made a sound. I mean, that's a start. There it is, it's fixed. Like, that was it. So it's letting you know that it's on battery backup, that's why it's beeping. You get to 120 volts, and you can just cycle through the modes here. Let's see, it says, uh... so runtime, you got 86 minutes, cause it's not really a fully charged battery. And 0% uh, load. Let's go ahead and uh, find something to plug in just for testing purposes. I got a little small LED lamp that has actually 120 volts and we plug it in. Okay, so that's surge protection only. We should plug it on this side. And of course it works. So there's my outlet. We're not plugged in, but we'll go ahead and plug it in now and this should go back to normal. There it is, guys. So your dead inverter, or I guess UPS unit, that the manufacturer says is no longer serviceable, they want you to throw it out when really it's just it's just a bad battery. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps somebody else out. Um, be careful when you do take it apart, because again, this is 120 volts. But uh, besides that, you would just swap it out with this battery and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe, comment, take care.